Luna. What? We're back! We are? We're back! We're back! The podcast is back, but... But, hold on, we don't, we don't have Spike. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. due to uh, family issues, our, our uh, star of the show, Spike, is, is unable to join us. Okay, we gotta cancel. We're, sorry, guys, we're canceling. <laughs> we gotta cancel. Well, actually, technically, no. Replacing him... Well, not really replacing him, but an addition to our podcast team our is our good stars. friend and local family member from far, far away in a region <laughs> that we will not ever, 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 ever mention. Cough, cough, cough. cough. Poison! Hello. Yeah, she's actually from, uh, what you call it, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, totally. It's not cancer. More Toto. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we are back with the podcast. Uh, I've been kind of putting this off for a while. Or actually, no, we all have been putting this off for a while. It's been rescheduled uh, many, many times. Yeah, at least three times this week. Well, this week, we're trying to just bring it back in general, but we've, we've just been putting it off mainly because... E after E3, we pretty much, what, got bored of it? Or did we all just get busy? Uh, well, it's kind of a... Um... A mixture of the two? Yeah, but with more of uh, the busy being the pr biggest part. But... Well, the last time been out we did... State for a while. Okay, okay no, the, well, the last time that we were doing podcasts... I was pretty much the one recording, and oh, yeah. um, and I was me. I was home pretty much every weekend. But that was my that was just working with my other company. Now, now, now the quality's kind of suckish because I'm on my phone, really? and uh, Luna is actually recording thanks to o, um, OBS. Yep. And this is just going to be the podcast format from now on, is that we're just going to show the picture of the of the um, podcast logo. Yeah, so anyways, um, so how, how have you guys been? We've been gone for, um, for how many months? We, we left um, in, what was it? Last E3. No, what was our last official podcast? I think it was last E3. Give me a second. Let me look through my videos. I think it was. Because I watched. That was the last one I was in. Okay, the last podcast that I that I just went back to was seven months ago. Uh, let me just click on it. It was about the Steam Summer Sale. Yeah. Okay, so that was in July then. It wasn't July. It was July fifth. Hmm. See, I was right. <laughs> so, this is technically episode six of the podcast. Hooray! We're almost to our first year birthday of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even posted a full season of it. I know! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love this stuff, right? It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to do pretty much our last format, which was every other week. Or at least attempt to. Attempt. If not every other week, then at least once a month. Yeah. Because that's pretty much the goal. Now, I will say this much, though. I finally got around to playing a little bit of Assassin's Creed Unity. And all of my hate... All of the hate. I'm feeling for you right now. So, <laughs> right before we started, uh, my mom just uh, mentioned, no, not mentioned, but um, what was it that she did? She, uh, shit, what did she do? Let me actually oh, go out no. <laughs> What did, did she, she text do? You? Did she message you? Did she, she email tagged you? Me. I was trying to think of the fucking word. She tagged me in a post, 
and uh, pretty much gave me a link to a console that I was just talking about right before we started recording oh, called okay. the Retro Blocks. The what? It's called the Retro Blocks. Hmm. I'm about to send you guys the link right now. Okay. You're responsible for posting in your uh, chat or in your uh, yeah, I know. description. Really. In the description. I'll, I'll post it in the description of the video. But um, this is pretty much what you need to know about the console. So basically, the console is a hybrid console. Um, basically, you'll be able to play NES, SNES, Genesis, Atari, uh, PC, some PC games, PlayStation 1 discs, Sega discs. This is really cool. This, this is a really cool, you know, wow. piece of technology. And, um, you know, it, it's really cool. Um, Basically, it, it, basically, it's a modular, multi-system, retro gaming console. And, you know, I, I can hear all the fucking PC people just be like, ah, no thank you. Because as, as, <laughs> as soon as anybody says console, it's a big letdown. And I'm sitting there like, no, it's not. Because this is pretty much where gaming began. Um... Actually, that isn't actually. Well, Gaming don't give me that actually... bullshit. I'm not going to argue. I'm not arguing. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it to that. Gaming was <laughs> actually started with a uh, weird little sheet that they put it on the damn TV. It was, it was originally Pong. I don't remember how the hell that shit worked, but... I don't know how that works either. Were you talk? Are you talking about the Commodore? No, this is pre Commodore. Oh, shit, what are you talking about? The Odyssey? Um, no. This was literally. Am I close? Just Pong. Am I close to it? No, the thing was called <laughs> Pong. Look it up on uh, what you call it. Uh, History, the, uh, history of the gurgles. gaming. I don't remember what the hell that show is called back on G uh, Tech TV back in the day. I watch Angry Video Game Nerd, actually, and he was talking a little bit about that. So <laughs> I might have to go rewatch that. That being said, it's a really interesting device. Um, it's it's on Kickstarter for one, um, and there was talks for. Nintendo 64. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, but... They need to I get don't know. licensing issues for that, probably. Well, they got licensing for the NES, SNES, Genesis, Atari, PS1, Sega, and PC. So, and there's, there's still talks to, for Nintendo 64... But I think they I think they want to see how it fares in the market. Mm -hmm. Because there's 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 such a thing as too many features. Yeah. And then there's a thing or there's a there's such a thing as not enough features. Yeah, and so now far it's from what harder, I've seen of that. It looks like they've got enough features already as is. Yeah, and this is supposed to be like a throwback console, or it's supposed to be, yeah, it's basically like a throwback console. Um, duh, retro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the um, the PlayStation One Classic to uh, be released because they, Nintendo just released the um. NES Classic. Yeah. I'm actually I'm still surprised waiting. that they got the sign-off for Super Nintendo and NES. I'm still waiting for the Nintendo 64 Classic and PlayStation 1 Classic to 
come out. What about the PlayStation reinstalled, 2 Classic at that point? with like 60 fucking games. Okay, then if you if you're uh, looking that far ahead, then why aren't you looking at uh, for the PlayStation 2 Classic then? Because the PlayStation 2 Classic is still still I won't say recent, but uh, recent it's and two generations back now. Yeah, and you, we still haven't seen the PlayStation One Classic. Yeah. That oh. also means you can you can play you can buy really old PlayStation One games on the PlayStation Store. So. Oh, that's all right. We haven't seen the uh, Sega Classic yet. Yet being the word. I don't know. I think emulation is the future. No. I I'm a big 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 um no on like piracy in general, but I wouldn't mind a console that did nothing but emulation as long as we can buy the game. Well, as far as what I see as a future full dive. Well, yeah, but we're talking about these throwback consoles. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you that. I guess. We could talk about we could talk about full dive in another episode, but but let, let, let's just let's just stick with um the retro part of the conversation. Like, can you see like this one machine, the retro blocks, just play the NES, SNES, Nintendo sixty four? Maybe pretty much everything from the beginning up to PlayStation 2 and Xbox original. To be honest with you, yeah, because it's not that hard. Exactly, it's not that hard. And, you know, you're already able to play PlayStation 1 games with this, and it's pretty much very possible to upgrade this thing to be able to play PlayStation 2 and Xbox original games. I keep saying Xbox original because Xbox One is taken. Yeah, I know. Still can't believe I did that. I know. But that being said, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward for this console. I might actually put some money into their Kickstarter because I'm very, very, very interested in it. Like I said, I'm wondering how it's going to do in the market, and the price that they're thinking about is, how much did I say? It was like $300? Oh, fuck that. Who could afford a hundred or $300 nowadays? I can, actually. But, um, that being said, let me actually find it. Because I thought I saw it. I don't think I saw it. How much will the retro flux cost near the bottom? How much will it cost? Uh, the final pricing will be announced before the launch of the Kickstarter campaign in April. So it hasn't been announced. Um, yeah, I didn't think so. And the Kickstarter will, will be... Be basically begin in April. Yeah. So, um, basically, what their Kickstarter project will be doing, th that's basically the pre-order. You can pr pretty much pre-order the console starting April, uh, and it will include several different packages, of course. The first package will be the base unit plus one Bluetooth controller and uh, one selectable element module for the set price. Uh, the second option is the base unit with one Bluetooth controller and three selectable element modules. And then the third base unit plus one Bluetooth controller and then all five element modules for the set price. So basically, you can buy one 
of the modules. For example, you can buy like plain PlayStation One module, or the second one is like what three. So you can buy PlayStation One, uh, NES, and what's a what, what, I don't know. You choose the third one. Um. Well, any Sega. Is actually all right. How about Sega? How about how about the Sega? Okay, yeah. Well, we don't, we don't have the uh, Genesis anyway, so. Well, it's Sega CD, 32X CD, and Mega CD. So does that include the Genesis? No. The Genesis, actually, Sega started off with cartridges for the first two or three of their consoles. Okay, so how about... Because we had the Sega, then we had the Sega Genesis, and then we so had what the about Sega the... CD. Okay, so what about the Genesis module for the cartridges? Say so what? What would have more games, the Genesis for the cartridges or the Sega CDs? Uh, the Genesis. So we'll, we can get the Genesis, or... The third option is all five of them, which is NES, SNES, Genesis, Atari, uh, PS, and then everything else, basically. Yeah. It's weird, yeah, because they right. say all five, and there's like seven there. Yeah. You uh, know the NES, SNES, so... Atari, PS1, Sega, and PC. Yeah, that's seven. You know the funny thing that's... is, though, as far as Sega goes... Sega so, started going downhill when they went to CD. Oh, I didn't read that right. Huh? I didn't read that right. Um, it was, um, I wasn't reading the element modules. I think it already comes with the CD drives. Hmm. So anyways, you were saying, sorry about that? Yeah, as far as the Sega goes... Sega CD was actually revolutionary in, in its own right, but unfortunately it was because of the fact that they just had so many really bad titles. That's actually what started killing the Sega. And that started happening as soon as they uh, switched over to the CD. I mean, when they still had Earthworm Jim... And, um, oh god, what else did they have? I mean, sure, they had Sonic all the way through, but... Okay, here's something interesting that I just got them to oh, The, uh, Retro Blocks plus, in, included one element module and the controller will be much less than the base Nintendo Switch. Well, it better be. And how much is the Nintendo Switch going to be? Uh, about three or four hundred bucks. Three hundred, I think, was the final price, or two ninety nine. Excuse me. Like I said, was three or four hundred dollars. And you also got to remember, you still have to buy a game. If you want more players, you got to buy another controller, which is another fifty dollars. Or 60. Most oh, controllers yeah. are 60. Good point. Oh, you want to charge your uh, controller? Oh, you gotta pay another... Uh... $10. Yeah. Oh, these controllers, by the way, For... that Nintendo's selling, don't come with chargers. Yeah. That's a separate fee. Alright, All right. well... If you've actually, uh, or if anybody actually watches anything of Masako X, you'll understand uh, my rage towards the Switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it. So, um, Poison, do you have anything to uh, top that? No? I thought not. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Okay, so on. this segment is basically, um, our road to the gaming conventions. And we, last year, were pretty much doing E3 stuff. Yeah, that was last so year. So, spice it up a little. 
we're going to spice it up a little. And when I mean spice it up a little, the nearest convention from now is PAX East. And that will be on March 10th through the 12th in Boston, Massachusetts. We got about 25 days until it happens. And we got that mm. long until we uh, have to cast in our final votes on what's going to be out of there. Yep, yeah. much. There's there's no set schedule, so we have no idea what the hell's happening or who's actually going to show up. And by um, the way, Stephen, or I'm sorry, Death Eater, you're going to have to uh, take us to PAX one of these years. Mm. I am take all of us to PAX. And then the year after that, we're going to E3. <laughs> we have E3. Speaking of E3, it finally went public. Wait, what? We could finally show up to E3. Like, we could buy tickets. Um, hmm. I thought you could always buy tickets to E3. Mm. Apparently not until now. So you mean it was free to go in until now? No. No, no, I mean, it was only available for, like, press and gaming developers. Um, what about all those weirdos that were walking around all the time? That's <laughs> not... I met in the gaming conferences. That's what I met. Um, what about all those weirdos that were walking around? That's not the conferences. That's the actual. Actually, like, I saw weirdos convention. in some of those cons uh, conferences. They must be press. Trust me, there would be a lot yeah. of gaming press because you got Nerdist, you got PC Gamer, you yeah, got. Right, I give you that. Yeah, you got fucking everybody and their goddamn mother there. So. Now you can fucking you, you can fucking get you and your goddamn grandmother there. Because I thought from my I thought uh, it was available to the public. So yeah. well, actually, I, I guess thought it was available to the public as long as you actually had your uh, <sighs> ticket to get in there. Yeah, but I guess the public was only allowed into like the actual convention part and not the conferences. And that's, that's pretty much matter. what mattered anyways. That's pretty much what mattered, was conferences. Yeah. Because you want to be able to see what the hell's coming out next year. Or this year. <laughs> so now, this year is looking to be, like, the year for gaming. I don't know. Maybe. 2016 was a very eh-ish year for gaming. Well, actually, it wasn't that <laughs> bad. It wasn't really that bad. A lot of bad things did happen, but a lot of good <laughs> things made up. No Man's Sky! No Man's Sky! Yeah, and a lot of good things made up for it. Yeah, like the release of uh, Skyrim Remastered? Well, that was badass, not really. in a way. Yeah, that was, you guys were really excited about that. We were very excited about the announcement about Skyrim, and even recently, I'm excited about the Marwin expansion on uh, Elder Scrolls Yeah. So, we might see um, some gameplay for Morrowind at PAX. We might. Because the trailer just came out during the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, actually it was a day or so before, actually, but yeah. Yeah, and then we got, like, an extended trailer for the Super Bowl or whatever. But, um, anyways. I missed that then. We might get some gameplay. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I like. We'll get gameplay, but. We like, might get another trailer. Yeah, we might get another trailer. That's pretty much all we might get. And then, oh, shit, I don't know what else we might get. And Especially when it comes to, like, E3 and everything. By the but, way, um, I'd like to say this much real quick, though. I'm still absolutely uh, raging at Microsoft right now for putting uh, Scalebound on the back burner. Yeah, I know. We're still mad about that. I, mean, I was excited for that game. I think a lot of people were. I mean, being able to ride a dragon... 
That's like that was like awesome, dude. It's like one of the reasons why I got an Xbox. Yeah. It's actually one of the main reasons I bought the Xbox One. So, uh, what are the chances that we might see just a glimpse of Red Dead Redemption 2 mm, at PAX? Uh, maybe a 50-50 chance. 50-50? Yeah, PAX isn't as big, but it is pretty big. Yeah. It's not E3 big, but it's it's big enough to make headlines. Yeah, one of these days, though. If I ever do get to go to a convention, I'm probably going to try to go as Goku or something like that, or maybe even Master Roshi. <laughs> well, PAX is a pretty much everything conference, or everything con, so, um... And I'm hoping to hear word about, uh, Overlord Season 2 with PAX East. <laughs> so anyways, um... And I'm talking about the anime, that is, not the video yeah, game. Yeah, uh... I know. I'm not um, that for the viewers. Well, anyways, um, going to E3, uh, just just for speculation purposes, because we we pretty much haven't heard anything about E3, and uh, we don't usually start hearing about E3 until maybe April, about April or May, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Late April, early May. Yeah, and that's when we start so, doing teasers. So, what what are your speculations on what might happen at E3? Hmm. Well, I'm hoping there there's going to be decent pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, for once, I I think this is Bethesda's last. E3 stage for a while because it's been confirmed that they won't do E3 next year or they don't plan on doing E3 next year. Well, they've had so many uh, really big uh, titles come out recently. That's the only reason why they were doing their own E3 conferences was for Fallout 4, number one. Skyrim Doom Remastered. Skyrim Remastered, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so, what the hell do they have and wh what's the plan? Um, well, I guess they're going to be Does going Elder Scrolls 6 board. come out this year? Oh god, I really hope so. Because that would because, be so fucking awesome. Because this is their last E3 for a while, so they have to, <laughs> they have to go out big. Yeah. Either... Because if it's E three next year, we better see Elder Scroll. Oh, we be we we, uh, we better see Elder Scroll six. I, or at least I hope so. Anyway, otherwise we'll have to hit the Fallout shelters. <laughs> because we got Fallout for what two years ago? Um, I think so. I don't remember. I think it was. We got Scavern. We got Skyrim remastered this note last year. Mm -hmm. So what's this year? Who knows? Because they teased Prey, or wait, did they tease Prey, or was that EA or somebody else? I don't remember who it was, but. Somebody teased Prey. I can't remember who. Oh yeah, what was that game that looked like Half Life? But what? But it that wasn't was Prey. Okay, that was Half uh, Prey. Yeah, that was the Prey reboot. But like I said, I thought that was Half Life Three when I first saw it. <laughs> oh, don't forget, we're going to record reactions this year. Okay. Which means that we'll actually have to be on uh, when they're actually doing their stream. Yeah. So and... That means that you're going to have to look up uh, schedules. Don't worry, I'll, I'll have schedules pretty much like the month before, because they usually do schedules pretty much the month before. And then they update them throughout the month. 
until pretty much the week before. So we'll have schedules ready, and then um, and then I'll have to try to be available those days. I'm going to try to get home time during the during E3. That way, I'm able to record reactions. Yeah. So, anyways, um, is there any games that we've played recently that we want to review? Uh, Unity. All of the rage. So many fucking bugs, glitches. Well, I think everybody pretty much knows about Assassin's Creed Unity. Have you been playing anything else recently? Um, well... Let me remember. <laughs> well, before I left the house after the Super Bowl, I was playing, um... Let's see. I got Rocket League and Madden for Xbox One. What? So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty much... I think I'm pretty much done with buying games for now. I pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. And... uh, Stardew Valley was pretty good. Do what? Stardew Valley is actually a pretty good game. Yeah, I like Stardew Valley. I only have it on Steam, though, so... I have it actually on Steam and also on Xbox, but... (laughs) But, yeah. Um... It different on Xbox? It's just no mod support. I didn't know there were mods. Uh, go to nexusmods.com. I'm gonna have to when I get home. <laughs> um, There's quite a few different mods on, ne- on, uh, on Nexus Mods. <laughs> does one of the mods happen to be a multiplayer mod because I'm still waiting for nope. multiplayer? We Damn don't it. have mo- uh, multiplayer yet. That's still soon, TM. I'm sure somebody's working on it. <laughs> yeah, somebody out there is probably working on it. All right. Well, since this is pretty much um, going to be a short one, I think. Yeah. And because we we lost somebody, yeah. um, and then Spike's not here to entertain us. Uh, let me open up Steam real quick. We'll go to our next segment, which is Steam Wishlist Alert. Now, I haven't really explained this a lot. What this is is that I'm go- I'm opening up Steam right now, and I'm going to the store, and I'm going to the catalog. And then we're going to talk about, basically, the games being featured. Okay. Well... And then the game's pretty much interested in. Well, the games that I'm actually interested in, and I'm just going to get this out of the way real quick right now. Um, Mafia 3, that looks like a fucking awesome game. I mean, sure, it's basically the Mafia version of uh, Grand Theft Auto, but whatever. Yeah. It still looks pretty badass. Um, Let's see here. Um... I want to get Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. That have you ever played Commandos? Um, which one was that again? Was that the RTS? It's yeah, it's an RTS. Okay, yeah, was, that sounds like a cool game to me. Basically, that's what Shadow <laughs> Tactics is, and it's early access, I think. Is it early access? Uh-huh. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. It just came out of early access, I think. But it was an early access at the time. Um, no. There's no Steam Workshop, which is kind of disappointing, but it, it looks like it's pretty fucking awesome. I was watching um, some people play it, and it looks amazing. Now, I gotta do one more quick side segment real quick. I gotta uh, give uh, Blizzard a little bit of love, because I haven't given Blizzard a little bit of love in a while. Um, As far as uh, co-op commanders go, 
Alexei Stukov, fucking badass co-op co commander. I mean, sure, most of his units don't survive for very long, but when you've got a swarm of units being popped up every few seconds, you don't really need them to survive for very long. I mean, you don't even have to worry about healing because of how uh, how many uh, are going to be coming up in the next few minutes, you know? Right. And also, I don't re I don't remember if uh, this has actually come out yet or not. And if it has, I'm sorry about not uh, checking this up yet. But um, Diablo three has been uh, or had talked about at BlizzCon a um, throwback to Diablo one coming up for Diablo three, basically where you uh -huh. can actually play your Diablo three character and go through all the dungeons of uh, Diablo one. And that looked pretty badass. Being able to actually take out the or, the original butcher uh, mon, uh, boss monster is like fucking uh -huh. awesome. So in in greater news, mod uh, mod tools has been released for Call of Duty Black Ops Three. I'm not sure how recent that was because I'm just seeing it on my um, mod uh, on on my thing. Um, is that going to be for console? No, it's uh, it's only, only yeah, it's only Steam. Um, speaking of Black Ops Three, Steam Workshop, finally. Yay! So I'm assuming that you can create like your own like multiplayer maps or zombie maps and such. So I'm very very excited about that. So I will be. I, I already have Black Ops Three on my wish list, anyways. So I'm very, very excited about this, and I'm not, I'm not like into that futuristic crap. I'm like one of those people that hate those futuristic Call of Duty games, and Black Ops Three has just become very interesting to me, mainly because Treyarch number one and number two, fucking Treyarch. Also, can I say this real quick? About so, fucking time uh, that they get Steam Workshop, but. Uh... I mean, it's only been, what, how many years now? <laughs> Especially a freaking Call of Duty game that Treyarch, of all fucking companies, producers, or developers, have made. Treyarch is a developer, excuse me. Yeah. So, um, that being said, you know, fucking Black Ops, or Black Ops 3 in general, I don't even think Black Ops 1 has mod tools or Steam Workshop. Well, so this is a first. This is very much a first, and I'm very excited about it. That being said, there is a publisher weekend going on. And I also still say this much, though. Most games really do deserve mod uh, support. Because, yes, they do. I mean, what better way to actually get your community involved in your game? than to have the community set up mods that they can actually play with multiplayer. I mean, sure, yeah, you don't want them to have achievements for that, but, oh well, who gives a shit? I mean... Take achievements away. I don't, I don't fucking want achievements. I don't care about achievements. I mean, hell, Take them. only 1-5% to of the uh, population actually goes for all the achievements. Yeah, and those group of people are called Achievement Hunter. Go subscribe to them. We yeah. like them. That being said, um, like I was saying earlier, we got Publisher Weekend, and that is Koei Tecmo, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're the people behind the latest Attack on Titan game. Oh, Attack on Titan 2, you mean? No, Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom. Oh, um, never mind. I'm, I was thinking Titanfall, rather. Duh, don't mind me. <laughs> Titanfall. <laughs> so anyways, I'm kind of speaking of Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom, that's on sale 50% off, $30. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know, that's that's on my wish list. I'm planning on getting it for the console. And speaking of Attack on Titan, uh, that game is supposed to be following the whole entire Season 1. Okay. And yeah. speaking of Attack on Titan, this is very, very funny, but I was just watching Attack on Titan. 
That is actually kind of funny. Yeah, I know, right? Now, I will say this much, though. If I was to ever actually get a PlayStation 4, though, there's actually uh, one game for, for sure that I actually want to pick up here, uh, if I ever do get around to it. What's up? Um, Sword Art Online, I forget what the heck the name of the uh, Sword Art Online game was, but... Oh, you're talking about, I can't I can't remember what it's called either. Uh, it's on GameStop's I website, I'll, I'll have to look it up. But... It just came out, too. It, it just came out, like, I mean, several it, months ago. It looks beautiful. I, mean, I know, it... It looks so awesome. I think it was Hello Realization, I think. I can't remember. But, um... Holy crap. This is very, very exciting. Very exciting stuff that's been going on lately. And, um, 2017 is looking very, very good. Like I said, I already have... Red Dead Redemption 2 pre-ordered. I also have South Park. Um, what's that called? What's the full title? Oh, uh, the Fractured Butthole. Yes, I have that um, yeah, pre-ordered. I still need to pick that up myself. Did it come out? Uh, I don't think so. I'm about to find out. South Park, the Fractured Butthole. No user reviews yet, so no, it's not out. Uh, let's see here. Release date is supposedly March 31st, 2017. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get pushed back. Yeah, I know. The f- Steam still says early 2017, so... Well, Google just uh, told me uh, initial release date is uh, set for March 31st, 2017. I know. Now, that could also still be up for debate. Who knows? We might get another delay, but, you know, delays are good. Yes, in a, delays are good you know. because delays actually make sure that they actually work out all the bugs. Hopefully. Yeah, but the last time we waited for a game, yeah, that that delays. was that was because of a, a shady company and a bunch of promises. Yeah, somebody promised way too much and decided to say "f you" to its community. Let's not also forget to mention that South Park: The Fractured Butthole is published. Well, by none other but Ubisoft. Ubisoft. But I will still have to say this much though: so. the people that actually created South Park will probably not let them actually fuck this up. Now Ubisoft is very good about their games, so if if it's delayed again, no worries because we know Ubisoft. We know they tried to produce good content. Yeah, try. <laughs> Because they've produced, or because when Watch Dogs 1 came out, uh, fucking A, it was bad. It was bad, the hype was there, but it was bad. Yeah. The hype did not live up. Yeah, I will have to say this much about uh, games like uh, um, Watch Dogs 1. Unfortunately, not every game can be a uh, AAA title. I, but when Watch Dogs 2 came out, I, I heard still, some really good things about Watch Dogs 2. I still In fact, haven't played I, Watch Dogs 2 yet. I, I Spike intends on getting Watch Dogs 2, so what? we might hear something from him soon about that. I thought he said that he wasn't going to touch that with a 20 foot pole. No, he said that about Watch Dogs 1. No, I thought I heard him say that about Watch Dogs 2, though. I don't know. Watch Dogs 2 looks decent to me. I don't think I'm going to get it. Yeah. Mainly how disappointed I was. Actually, let me let me just look at it. I let mean, me see how it's... E- Whoa! It You're looks not a lot this. better than the first one. I will say that much. From just what You're I've not going to believe this. You're yeah. not going to believe this, but the user reviews overall is very positive. 
Really? What about the user reviews of the first one? <laughs> I'm about to find out. See how that mix eh, matches up. Mixed. Okay. Recently, it's mostly positive, but I'm always looking at overall. Oh, yeah. You always want to look at overall. Me? I actually look at game reviews that actually show video of in-game content. Mainly so because basic- of the fact that I want to see what the game looks like. I want to see how the game plays, you know? So I basically... Sh- I mean, sure, I don't actually watch the whole video. I just uh-huh. watch maybe the first five or ten minutes of it, you know, character creation and also uh, the first five minutes of actual gameplay. Uh-huh. So anyways, um, speaking of games that are for sale, the 6 is on sale for um, $47. The what's on sale? Civ 6. Oh, Civ 6, okay. Yeah. Um, no. Along with along with Elder Scrolls Online, Gold Edition's on sale for $30. Yeah. You know why they're Batman doing that, the... though, right? Why? Uh, ESO's, oh, boy. ESO's doing that Gold Edition for $30 because of the fact that they're trying to milk it for as much as they can before Morrowind actually hits the shelves. Batman Telltale series is on sale for $13. <coughs> Telltale is not a real game. Yeah, I know. They need to stop uh, making games. Speaking of Elder Scrolls Online, the Tamiya Unlimited is dollars Yeah, that's base game. And how much is Morrowind? Uh, from what I heard, Morrowind expansion's supposed to be fifty dollars. Well, fifty or sixty. Why is it so much? Uh, because of the fact that uh, I remember hearing that it's actually supposed to add a whole new fucking area that's about the size of ha- of uh, the map that we've got so far well the story is is that we can pretty much go anywhere in Tamriel anyway right with Tamriel Unlimited for the most part I mean there's still some places that are still locked away that we can't but we to. can't go like everywhere everywhere because yeah. of how big Tamriel actually is yeah, Tamriel is basically a one-fifth scale of our planet. So what I'm thinking is that the Morrowind expansion unlocks all of Morrowind. Yeah, that's what it's going to be doing. And then, you know, the next expansions will unlock everywhere else, like one at a time. Yeah, that's probably what they're planning on doing, milking it for so, all uh- it's worth. So how many how many places are there in Tamriel? Uh, quite a few. Let's see here. There's the uh, the Imperial City. Um, there's Skyrim. There's elsewhere. There's Morrowind. Um, shit. That's four. I know there's a few more places than that, but. So we're looking at, like, seven, maybe? Or eight? I mean, I figure there's at least one pla- uh, place for pretty much at least half of the races that are av- available to play. And how many races are there? About eight, if I remember correctly. Eight. So, we're maybe thinking nine. about eight, eight locations. So that's at least... Seven more expansions That's that they're just thinking about, about. Eight that I can remember right off the top of my head. Because there's the so, yeah. uh, Red Guard, the uh, North. Not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, not including Morrowind, or actually, no, yes, including Morrowind. There's about seven or eight more locations or expansions, exactly. I should say, that they're planning, if not less. And you're kind of assuming that they're going to do that. Or actually live long enough to do that. I mean, 
Yes, ESO oh. has basically become the brand new oh World of God, Warcraft. I can't believe I'm actually admitting this, but World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were going to say that, so... Yeah, I think Elder Scrolls Online is pretty much the new World of Warcraft. Yeah. Except... I'd also say you know, it right. Like we said... Maybe not a new expansion every year. Maybe like what they're doing right now every uh, every other year or so. Yeah. Well, they're doing basically the same formula that uh, World of Warcraft's doing anyway. Every other year. And it's kind of working. Yeah. Why do you think World of Warcraft's actually survived so long? Other than well, why do you think Elder Scrolls have... Online survived so long? Speaking uh, of MMOs... ESO's uh, surviving for so long because, one, it's new, and two, it's Skyrim. Or, I'm sorry, it's uh, Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah. Speaking of MMOs, Spike is having us play Final Fantasy fourteen MMO. Yeah, I, I need to get my character set up sometime tonight or tomorrow night. Because I I forgot to do that last night. Yeah, I know. I might get it like my new laptop, but until then, I I'm not gonna start my trial until I get my new laptop. Yeah, I mean I'll start my Wait. free trial sometime tonight or tomorrow night, most likely tomorrow night. But mainly because if I start my trial on my current computer. There's a chance that it won't work, and or it won't work on my computer, and not only that, I'm a truck driver. It's you know, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, you don't have the time to be able to actually play a lot of games, much less yeah. subscription-based games. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait until I get my new laptop. That way, I can just bring the laptop along and everything. Yeah. And speaking of bringing a laptop along, I do have a power inverter, so I might be able to bring a lot more than just a laptop. We went over this last night, Steven. Converter. Whatever. Anyways. You're not tr you're not swapping positive for my ne uh, negative. I totally am. But anyways, um... With that being said, I think that's pretty much everything that we wanted, wanted to talk about. So, have fun, you crazy people. Remember, well, we love you guys. We're not done yet. we got to freaking do our final thoughts, you idiot. So, anyways, we talked about retro gaming for a little bit. Yeah. And we talked that about was... Steam games. And we, well, after the retro, we talked about PAX East for a little bit. Then we oh, went straight yeah. to East. We had nothing else to talk about. Well, we don't really have very much information about PAX East, so. Yeah, that, and that being said, not even E3 as well. It's very early, let's just say, because it's, it's freaking February. Yeah. For one. Daytona 500 is next Sunday, I think. Yeah, I think so. If not, it was this weekend. I don't know. No, I Elimination know. Chamber is on right now, I think, and I'm going. I'm going to go uh, watch that as soon as we get done with the podcast. All I remember is the uh, Daytona 500 uh, Simpsons episode that they were uh, doing on the uh, commercial for um, Super Bowl. Yeah. That is still funny, Maggie winning on a tricycle. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Well, that's that's pretty much it. Well, I had fun. Hopefully, Spike can show up next week and maybe even Poison. Uh, maybe we can do it at an earlier time. Uh, and if then, maybe, maybe on a Saturday. We could try for Saturday um, next time. Yeah. That's the same that Spike's available and it does his, I'm sorry, Poison is available. You're going to have to edit And that's also assuming that I'm not driving at that time as well. So, we'll have to go for it. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of home time, um, 
when is the 22nd? Is it next week? Uh, the 22nd is next Wednesday. Yeah, I thought so. So, I might be home the week after that. And that's... 22nd is pretty much my birthday anyways. So, we might do the next podcast either the week of my birthday or the week that I get home. Okay. So, that being said... Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to, you know, this... Um, I don't know how long this podcast was. So... Yeah, whatever. Thank you guys a lot for um, tuning in. Um, we're going to be doing these podcasts a lot more frequently. As long as it's just, you know, me and Luna and, you know, at least a third person. Because it does get boring with just the two of us. Yeah. And if you guys ever want to send us video games, please uh, uh, contact uh, One Death Eater and he'll uh, point you in the right direction. <laughs> my email's on my channel. So anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will see you next time! Bye-bye!